so basically, where was I going? Um, so basically, damn, no good at this game, man. <laughs> good at this game. I keep on stumbling over my stumbling and trumbling over my words and shit. Yeah, where's the cats? Yeah, no one's here. Uh, right. Uh, so. Itchy scalp. That's my trailer for. I don't know where I'm going. Gun lean, man, gun lean. I'm cheeking, I'm not even gonna play you like that. Look, look at my hair. I literally, I'll be back. I look a bit more presentable. Quick, right. I'm back. Okay. I ain't doing that either. Okay, so, welcome everybody. Back to the channel. Uh, where do I start today? Uh, so, I was going to do a video on my first wash, which was about 10 days after me actually getting my hair crocheted, and it was a total disaster. Literally forgot all my kit, so I couldn't even plug my phone up on the wall, and basically, all my hair unraveled. Like, I've looked at so many videos and thinking, Right, crochet is the way to go. I suffer a lot from itchy scalp, dry skin in general. Like you will not see me go out of the house without moisturizer. Coco brother, shout out. Honestly, stay black, don't crack. Key ingredient, Coco butter. Use it. So I suffer from itchy scalp, dry scalp. So I need to put a lot of oils in my hair, but. At the time of my lock journey, I was told not to put nothing in my hair. So I took that very literally. So my hair was very dry, very itchy, and I needed to wash my hair. So when I found the crochet method, and I seen people be able to wash their hair after, especially with me, I'm an active gym user. So sweating, all that kind of stuff. The first two weeks that I had comb coils, didn't go to the gym for that reason. I know I was rehabilitation any rehabilitating anyway, but I wouldn't go. Um so when I did see people let's say that the third time, maybe the fourth time, that they're washing their hair, literally straight after crocheting their hair, day after, week after, I was like, yes! Um I'll be able to do that. Uh, they come out the shower and minimal frizz, minimal. And I was like, right, this is great. Here's my my dread is still gonna look good. Uh, no, no, no. This doesn't happen to everyone. <laughs> Literally, mine started to not so much unravel because uh, they are pretty locked. I will show you. Let's see if I pull one out. that is not going anywhere right so it is it is locked uh, but literally well, I don't know if I got open up before and after photo but yeah they literally fuzz like crazy and it literally just look like I'm pretty much having the afro um, so with this being my first journey I actually started to panic a little bit and think What's going on? I've literally just paid a load of money for someone to crochet my hair, and within 10 days, it's looking like you saw earlier. Okay, um, but I thought, right, just roll with it. I was gonna say, no, I was take two, I was gonna lean with it, rock with it. Remember that sound called tight OGs if you remember. So yeah, I let it rock uh, with the frizz and everything. I'm gonna actually take this out. Just show you exactly how it's looking. So yeah, 
I wasn't rocking with it like this. You can see the ends, really frizzy. Yeah, still quite firm. So I literally, I don't know <laughs> what the next stage is. And I think the budding stage is probably next. So, so basically I text my loctician and said, yo, <laughs> Is this supposed to happen or what? And she's like, oh yeah, well, it's, it's, it's come out, babe. You'll need to get it and re crocheted. And I'm thinking, I thought crocheting was a one and done. Maybe that's just me being totally naive. But, yo, I was like, I can't be spending all this money on getting crocheted. And surely that's going to cause damage to my hair. Keep on doing it. So I was like, yeah, maybe in a few months or so. So I was like, you know what? I'll just rock with it. Um, kind of, even though I want mine to be maintained and I want neat eventually, kind of gone with a free form because I literally twist from the root and that's all completely out. So that's all throw, all throw there. Um, so I don't know, I just come on just to give you a bit of an update of what's going on. I think I'm in, it's definitely in week three. So I have been, I have seen that when your hair is super dry, that helps a lot with the locking phase. Uh, so I basically just tie it back like so, go to work. That's one thing I was really worried about is with work, like the corporate lifestyle that I do with work, but I didn't want messy hair. So that's why I went for the maintained look. Uh, but yeah, we're pulling it back. It's not too, not too bad. And dress real nice, you know. And sometimes I put the metal spectacles on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so yeah, that uh, attains for my hair. But I'm, I'm enjoying it because you know, it's going to build confidence. Like if I can rock, rock it with my hair looking like this when it does eventually mature, then. I am just going to be a big ball of confidence. <laughs> Saying it with my chest, my heart will be as stone cold as Austin. Yeah. And uh, people firing shots at me, just bulletproof. Bulletproof. Anyway, um, I'm not going to go on too much longer. As I said, I just wanted to give a quick update. Anybody's got any tips, please put them in the comments below. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace up, a town down. Yes.